Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys this beautiful hair from Yolova Hair. And I'm also going to be sharing my makeup routine, mostly my foundation routine. So this hair is a kinky curly hair from Yolova Hair. This is the packaging. It has such a beautiful packaging. And also the hair comes in a bag, a storage bag. I really like when wigs come in a storage bag because you just have somewhere to put them whenever you're not wearing them. So this is what the hair looks like straight out of the package. And it's so beautiful. It's so soft. You can see the curls are popping. It's so gorgeous and so beautiful, guys. So um, if you guys uh, would want more details on this hair, I'm going to leave it in the description box below. Please make sure to check it out. I also took the hair to my friend to help me pluck. It came pre-plucked, as you can see. But I just took it to her to help me pluck it. So, you know, it's all nice and laid because I don't really know how to, like, pluck the hair. Anyways, I hope this video is really helpful. Hi, guys. So we're going to start with the videos. This is the hair. I applied some foundation on it just so it gets brown. I didn't really do a great job, but oh well. Now I'm going to attach this on my head. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the hair. I had to go use a mirror to put this down hopefully it works anyways now i'm going to start with my makeup so with my makeup what i do is i prime my face and to prime my face i'm going to be using this sephora smoothening primer i'm just going to put a bit on my hand and then just rub it all over my face whenever i apply this on my face it always feels really smooth like now that i've primed my face that's ready and done so for my eyebrows i always get questions of where i get my eyebrow pencil from or what eyebrow what do i use on my brow honestly guys i just use <laughs> a random brown pencil but before i start i'm going to you know brush all of my eyebrows to the top so what i do with my brow is i just feel the end i don't feel i just draw a line at the top then use another line at the bottom to meet up with the line I drew at the top and that's it and then I just fill up the empty space I'm usually not proud of this brow because I just feel it goes against the rules before any of you come under my post or before you choose to comment under my post that I should love my brown eyes I love my eyes okay I just cannot see so I have to put on contact if I could find the clear contact here in Turkey I would probably buy them so please I'm not trying to be white by wearing these contacts Thank you. Anyways, now I'm going to be using this Fenty Beauty concealer in the color 420. I'm going to use that to shape in my brows. So this is what my eyebrows are looking like. I'm just going to use this Golden Rose eyebrow gel or something. And I'm going to use that to brush the hairs of my eyebrows so they stay put. I'm done with my eyebrows now. Now I'm going to go into my foundation. And the foundation I'm going to be using is my Fenty Beauty con foundation, sorry, in the color 445. That's the color I always use. But before I go in with my foundation, I like to cover the spots I have on my face. I like to use my concealer to just cover them. The Fenty Beauty foundation is like really light so it doesn't cover up my spots sometimes so i just like to go in with the concealer to cover the spots the secret to my foundation is i don't put foundation on my forehead like i don't tap on the foundation and put it on my forehead i only do it on this side this side i don't put foundation on the place i'm going to apply my concealer and yeah that's pretty much it so basically most of the foundation is going on my nose and the sides of my face so that's what I do. That's my new foundation routine. And then now I'm just going to use the remnant and just tap it on my forehead. 
just to cover the concealer or to blend in the concealers that's basically it i don't have like any foundation on the top so this just you know it doesn't make the face look thick with makeup i'm also going to blend out the concealer underneath my eyebrows i feel like i don't have so much makeup on my face when i do this method because the foundation is just here the concealer is here everything is serving their purpose okay what i'm going to do next is to conceal my face and to conceal my face i'm going to use the same concealer i used earlier on the fenty beauty concealer and i'm going to conceal okay when i'm done i'm also going to conceal my nose Before I blend it out, I like to go in with my cream foundation because I just feel that kind of balances the look and I'm going to be using this Flomar foundation. I'm just going to tap it in, or oh, I don't know, it's a BB cream contour powder. So I'm going to tap that into my cheeks like so. When I take out this headband, I'm going to put at the top as well. So yeah. So, when I'm done with that, oof, I'm then going to blend it out. I'm going to start my forehead. Like I'm done blending it out I'm going to go in with I'm going to start with my with my eyes actually and for my eyes I'm just going to go in with this this is my go-to color and I only use like about two colors from this I use this first and then I use this color all over my eyes that's how it is for my eyeshadow I don't really do much any dramatic look so when I'm done using the first color Sometimes I feel like when I apply eyeshadow, I don't pick up enough eyeshadow from the eyeshadow palette Especially when I'm applying a transition transition color Now I'm going to go in with this color This is my go-to The one where you can see the end Yep, that's my go-to color And I'm going to apply that all over my eyelids That's just how I do my thing It's looking a bit darker today, I don't know why But oh well Okay, I'm done with that. I'm going to go with my eyeliner. I'm going to be using this Floma eyeliner to line my eyes. I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier setting powder. with this prep and prime mac fix spray while that is drying up i'm going to take out this headband and hope for the best i don't know i don't know how i feel so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to take my contour powder and i'm going to apply some of it Now it's time for me to work with my hair. I really, I really like this hair. So now that the headband is out, I'm going to try to decide what part I want this hair to be. Do I want a middle part or do I want a side part? I usually like side parts. 
with like full hairs and all. So now I'm going to start applying water on it. I'm just going to spray water on it. It's forming so beautifully. And I'm just going to do that all over my hair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some hair mousse on my hair because I feel hair mousse keeps the the curls set or it keeps the hair in its curls so I'm just going to apply that not too much not too much I've always used hair mousse on my hair that has curls to keep the curls for a longer period because sometimes this hair can tend to puff up or puff up poof what's poof it can tend to puff up and the hair mousse just limits that from happening i guess hey guys hi hi yes i'm back okay so that's pretty much it for my makeup and my hair this is what the hair is looking like as you can see it's really nice it's very lightweight really nice very loose it doesn't feel heavy on the scalp the curls are popping as you can see the curls are popping and yeah that's pretty much it guys that's really nice i'm going to link the hair and everything about the hair in the description box below please be sure to check it out as well and also you can also use a code a special code glory if you if you choose to purchase this hair please use the code glory in during your purchase and yeah that's pretty much it guys that's all for this video this is my makeup routine i took out my contacts because I do not like the look they were giving it was giving it was i was looking too sharp anywho yeah i've come to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>